Illahi Viognier. So this Viognier is not a very common varietal in the Willamette Valley. It's typically grown in warmer climates. Um, we started making this wine kind of by mistake. Um, one of Lowell's buddies drove up with a truckload of Viognier back in 2007. Um, and so we decided to use that fruit and we made the wine and it became one of our most popular whites. So we've made this every year since. We source most of this fruit from Goshi Farms in Silverton, Oregon. And Goshi is primarily a hop grower. They have over 500 acres of hops, um, but they also grow some Pinot Gris and some other varietals. They are live certified as well. And Gail Goshi is a century farmer. She's a really great, wonderful person um, and farmer, and we have a lot of respect for her. Um, so this Viognier, because it's cool climate style, it's typically a little lower alcohol and higher acidity. We never wanted to make it in um, a Condru or French style, so we just decided to make this kind of our own style. So we actually ferment all of this in 100% stainless steel. Um, and we also destem and crush these grapes and soak them on the skins for 24 hours. I don't think you could do that in a warmer climate. You get a little more phenolic bitterness from the skins. Um, but because we're in a cooler climate, we can do that. Um, and then we ferment in stainless steel. It, this Viognier always has a little more stone fruit characteristic to it rather than tropical. So I think it smells like peaches and flowers. It's really aromatic, but then when it gets to the palate, that acid just really cuts through the palate and can pair with so many different foods. It's not, um, it's not oily or cloying like some Viognier's can be. Um, it's just really light and refreshing.